Hello and welcome community. Thank you so, so much for coming out this evening to raise the flag and celebrate our LGBTQ plus community today, uh, today for Pride Month. My name is Izzy Starr. I use they, them pronouns. I'm the LGBTQ plus uh, services coordinator for the city of Somerville. I'd like to share with you a bit about the programming for today's event. First, we will welcome Mayor Katiana Ballantyne to share some remarks. Then I will share some thoughts on this moment and what our responsibilities are. After that, one of our Somerville LGBTQ plus youth will share his remarks. Finally, we will be thanking Somerville High School GSA advisor, Julia Post, for her many years of hard work and service. Without further ado, let's give a warm welcome to Mayor Kachana Ballantyne. Thank you, Izzy. Today we come together to celebrate Pride, a time to honor the vibrant, resilient LGBTQ plus community that enriches the city. Thank you all for being here to recognize and celebrate Pride here in Somerville. I'd like to recognize that State Representative Christine Barber is here. School Committee member Laurent Baton is here. And any other elected officials, if you would raise your hands. Okay, well, welcome everyone. As mayor, I stand before you not just as a leader, but as a human being deeply connected to our community. Every day, we see the faces of our children, our future, our present. They look to us, the adults, for guidance and protection. It is our solemn responsibility to listen to their voices, to understand their needs, and to build a world that cherishes and respects them for who they are. Many of you may know that in 2023 bore a record number of anti-LGBTQ plus bills with more than 500 bills introduced. The majority of them targeting the rights of trans and non-binary people, and this is only getting worse. Already, less than halfway through 2024, hundreds of bills seeking to marginalize and outright erase transgender people in a wide array of areas have been introduced. These bills threaten to strip away the freedom and rights that our predecessors fought so hard to secure. As caretakers of our community, we must recognize that while young activists are powerful voices of change, it is our duty as adults to ensure they have a safe and supportive world to grow in. We must stem the tide of anti-LGBTQ plus rhetoric, laws, and actions. We must take concrete steps to restore the rights and equity of the LGBTQ plus community now to give today's youth a supportive foundation to grow into tomorrow's leaders. Our children are watching. They see the attempts to construct an unsafe and unwelcoming future. This is unacceptable. We owe it to them to take decisive action now to shape a future rooted in love, acceptance, and safety. Pride is not just a celebration. It is a powerful, powerful reminder of the struggles and hardship that the LGBTQ plus community has endured. It is about affirming the lo that love is love, that Supporting the queer community is not merely a symbolic gesture, but a tangible commitment demonstrated through our actions. In Somerville, we have worked hard to build a community where queer people are not just living, but thriving. Here, we strive to foster an environment where everyone can find support, solidarity, and strength. But we are not experts, you are. I want to make it clear to all of you here today 
that City Hall's door is always open. We want to grow with your feedback, learn from your concerns and ideas. The flag we're raising above City Hall today affirms Somerville's commitment to creating a world where everyone, regardless of who they love or how they identify, can live openly and proudly. Thank you again to everyone who's here and especially to Izzy for their hard work to bring us together today to celebrate both pride and share Somerville's unwavering commitment to being a city where everyone feels supported, safe, and welcome. Together, we will continue to build a brighter, more inclusive future. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Ballantyne. Thank you for being here today, everyone. I often think about how I can best serve and support queer youth, not just LGBTQ plus people who are children now, but also how can I best be there for the queer child that I was, the trans kids that my friends were, the gay kids that my mentors were, and all the queer children, all the children that you were. All those younger selves that live inside our hearts who deserve the world and might have gotten a lot less. I want to address all those past and present and future queer child selves now. I want to tell you how much you deserve. You deserve love. To be seen and heard and held with so much tenderness. You deserve to grow old. To get crinkles around your eyes from laughing until you cry. You deserve to be celebrated. To share stories of everything you have accomplished and all the joy and brilliance you have brought to this world. You deserve to be uplifted by your friends and family and community. Your queer heart is beautiful. Your transness is radiant. Your nonconformity is magical. You are enough. You are more than enough. You're a gift and we are so glad that you are here. It is not enough for us to talk about community and protecting queer youth. We must demonstrate this to you through our actions. We need to show up for you and for each other. It is up to us to build a world where you can thrive. I know that you see other adults in the world who are not doing this, who actively make the world feel less safe for us, who use their power to pass violent laws that harm queer youth and adults from bathroom and sports bans to drag bans, book bans, and healthcare bans. And they claim that they are protecting the children. But we know that this is not protection. The queer community is no stranger to targeting and tragedy. And at every turn we come together instead of being driven apart. We are there for each other and recognize each other and the unique gifts that we have to offer the world. The LGBTQIA plus community works to embody the joy of finding yourself and being yourself in a world that is working so hard to make everyone exactly the same. There is beauty in being who you are and continuing to learn, grow, and change as you keep finding out more about yourself and becoming more and more you. As we work towards queer liberation, towards greater freedom and aliveness for all people, we must look toward a future where we can exist as we are and love as we do. All people are deserving of this, regardless of identity or sexuality, or where they are. And we must understand that in this moment where trans rights and lives especially are being stolen across the country, this is not a coincidence. We must understand that the needs of the LGBTQ plus community do not end with marriage equality or trans people serving in the military. We need access to affordable housing, to food, to medical care. These issues are systemic. They impact all of us incredibly, unbearably, unequally. And these challenges are ones we can and must address here in Somerville. The choices that we make now are the framework for the future. The ways we show up for each other and build community set the stage for the world that we want to live in. 
Our queer ancestors and elders fought to make their worlds better and took care of each other in their time of need. While we sometimes feel more isolated and fragmented than ever before, community is still the heart of what it means to be queer. We see it in how we celebrate our joy and pride in our, refusable, in our refusal to be pushed down, how we have made our own community and found families and sustained memory even in the face of eradication. We must remember that pride is not about rainbow capitalism, but about fighting for our rights in a better world. It is imperative it is imperative that we understand that the movement for queer rights and queer liberation is inspired by and interwoven with movements for liberation around the world. <sighs> queer people are a part of all communities, so we must be engaged with and supportive of these movements and expand our bubbles of awareness. Not only are we responsible to the children here in Somerville, we are responsible to all children. As James Baldwin said, the children are always ours, every single one of them, all over the globe. And I am beginning to suspect that whoever is incapable of recognizing this may be incapable of morality. We are beholden to the children in Somerville, yes, as well as in Gaza, in, in Sudan, and in Congo, around the world. We are also beholden to the adults that those children have and will become. We are beholden to making the world a better place for all of us, especially for those who are the most harmed. When I think about the future I want for our community, it is one where we can truly live and thrive together. The work we do today is for our children, especially our queer children, tomorrow. Thank you. So next we're going to have a student come and speak. I'm wondering if Ace is here yet. Okay. Ace is in musical rehearsal. Okay. Who when knows? will it who, <laughs> I have a recording. When will he be here? Mic. I don't think he will. We don't okay. So we are going to try and play a recording of Ace reading his poem into the mic, and I understand that may not be the most accessible thing. Shall we try it? It's a really yeah. good poem. Okay, <laughs> it's a really good poem, and we are going to try it anyway. And you, remind me, is it Kara, right? Kara. Yeah. This is Kara Dodd. Kara Dodd is uh, an advisor at the Winter Hill Community School here in Somerville. We'll see how this goes. This is the mic that's on? give another round of applause so that Ace can all be very proud when he sees this video later on. <laughs> all right, now I would love to bring up Julia Post.
Hi, Julia. Hi. <laughs> Everybody, this is Julia Post. Julia Post is a GSI, is the GSA advisor at uh, Somerville High School. And I would love to share a little bit about her work there. So Julia Post has been an advisor with the Somerville High School GSA since 2007. She was one of the first openly queer teachers at the high school, and she co-founded the first queer staff affinity group for teachers in Somerville. Julia has fought for gender neutral restrooms throughout the city and at the high school, and she helped plan queer panels and professional development opportunities in the district. And she has made Somerville Public Schools a great place for some uh, LGBTQ plus youth and adults to thrive. During her time as an advisor with the GSA, she has been an amazing teacher of LGBTQ plus history and a supporter of queer rights for youth. She made the GSA a fun and safe space for queer and questioning youth to hang out and be themselves together. When I first started this position uh, and was going to be collaborating with the GSAs, everyone told me to reach out to Julia because she's been here forever and she knows everything. And that's, that's absolutely true. Julia doesn't hesitate to speak her mind and tell you the best way to get what needs to be done done. It has been truly an amazing opportunity to get to work with you, Julia, and to support you in everything that you do at the high school with the GSA. You have built a space where your students feel comfortable and seen and you spread joy while you do it. Thank you so much for all of your hard work and for being here for Somerville queer youth for so long and supporting everyone around you too. While it's sad that you're stepping down as the GSA advisor for the high school, we're really grateful for everything that you've given in this position and know that no matter what you do next, you'll continue making Somerville High School a great place to be. Give it up for Julia Post. Thank you. Can I just thank my Absolutely. Students? Super quick, just want to thank every student um, throughout all these years for just living their truth. Truly, they did the work and it was just a joy. Um, and the first Pride was a riot. So, free Palestine. Now, I would love to invite any kids in the audience up to help me raise this flag. So if the youth would like to come up here, please do. Yeah, come on up. We would love to have you come on up here and help raise this flag. Thank you all so much for joining us today. We are really grateful for your presence and for your existence and for your support. Thank you for being and for being here. 
We hope that you have a marvelous rest of your Pride Month, and we look forward to dancing with you and your prehistoric dinosaur bust on Saturday, June 22nd from 5 to 8 p.m. in Union Square. Please feel free to hang out with us here for a little bit, chat with the mayor, our city staff, and get to know each other. Share a bit about what you love about the Somerville LGBTQ plus community. We at the city of Somerville want to support our LGBTQ plus community. So bring us your ideas, share them with me, with the mayor's office, with your teachers, city officials. We want to make your voices heard. Thank you all so much. Have a marvelous night. Happy Pride.